What is going on guys, VPG here. In this video, we are going to be going over a recap of the $200 MT tournament that I played in on Saturday, which was two days ago. So basically, we can't um, just live comment or show what was live because I did have a lot of copyright music playing in the background. So unfortunately, um, that would just um, cause a copyright claim, which I really don't want. So a lot of you guys have been asking me this, so I'm going to put it out anyway. But anyway, this tournament was a $200 prize pool tournament. Winner got $150 and runner-up got $50. And yeah, it was a one-day tournament, so all games were played on one day. So anyway, now let's get on to game number one. So game number one in the term was against a guy who obviously had an inferior squad, but um, he did have the Blake Griffin diamond, so obviously he was a fairly good player. To even have that card, you have to be a decent player. But anyway, we went into the four out one in because this was a no five out tournament, and the best thing we could do is only have one big guy in there, and Kareem Abdul-Jabbar was that big guy. So Kevin McHale start, hits a three early, and Kevin McHale really carried us in this game. Like this was neck and neck the entire way, but Kevin McHale is actually a beast. In my opinion, one of the best power forwards in the game. MJ also carried us, that 99 overall MJ. Like, I didn't like him when he was using him on PC, but uh, in this tournament, he was the main man on this team, completely carrying the team. So uh, I'm just gonna let you guys watch the highlights now. I'm just gonna talk a little bit about the tournaments. So um, if you guys are into competitive my team, there is gonna be a link to my team ranker in uh, the description. So basically what um, MTR, my team ranker is, is just, Basically, what we're trying to do is just make, basically make it a hub for competitive my team. So, as you guys can see the logo on the core right now, we did uh, help Carlos run his tournament. This is a Carlos story sub-tournament, and we helped him run it. And it ran extremely smoothly. Like, a one-day tournament is very, very difficult to run, and it's very difficult to get smoothly. But we feel like we did a good job. We paid the winner out within 24 hours. We paid, well, the runner-up got paid within about 25 minutes of the final. But, um, yeah, so... Anyway, now let's get back onto the game. As you guys can see, it was neck and neck, but this is when it really, really badly started lagging. And I just went crazy. <laughs> like, I wish I could uh, show a little bit of the rage, but um, there's a difference between me raging in a normal video where I can edit out and me raging live on stream. I get very, very angry, even more so in videos. But um, yeah, at this stage in the game, it was not looking good. Like, we've been shooting a really high percentage. It's just that the lag was so bad. Like, this was almost unplayable, the lag in this game. And we just got hit with every type of... Uh, everything that could go wrong did go wrong early in this game anyway. And we were actually down four... Say, five points in the second quarter. I did not realize we were down that much. Like, even through the lag, as you can see, Kevin McHale was still doing very well. And one there comes off uh, screen, hits a three. Kevin McHale was carrying us. And with that duo with Larry Bird is an absolutely insane, insane card in this game. At halftime, we ended up pulling it back to a tie, which was really, really good. But our uh, second half was just, again, it was just kind of neck and neck. We were just playing our normal game. And uh, yeah, it was like, this guy was very, very similar in play style to me. And it basically, I'd say it came down to who got luckier in the end. And um, great block there by Kareem. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar was a guy who re did really well for this team. I, I picked him up for like 30k of the dynamic duo packs, which was absolutely crazy. And we got hit by a ridiculous steal there, but we made up for it by hitting a three with Larry Bird. And that's play with friends difficulty. No other way, like no other game mode can you fake a shot and still manage to hit it. We put up a terrible shot there at MJ, but it goes straight to Kevin McHale in the corner, who again, Kevin McHale barely misses in this game. His release is so nice. The only thing that Kevin McHale lacks is speed with ball. Everything else he is unreal at. Another card that was great in this game was James Worthy, who with that duo with Magic Johnson is an absolute beast. Him, uh, Magic, sorry, him, Clay Thompson, which I think he was really good in this game. MJ, when he played, was really good, and then obviously Kevin McHale. And Clay Thompson with a huge, huge basket there to give us a five-point lead going into the fourth. However, the fourth didn't really go the way we wanted it to early. Like, I know we got that score there to make it a seven-point game, but it was just... That was kind of the end of us being in complete control of this game. With three minutes to go, they bring it back to a two-point game, which, make, which honestly, I was getting scared here. I was getting scared because this guy, obviously, he's got that... Um, like Griffin cards, so he's a good player at the game. And you guys, as you guys know, I'm not really a great player. I think a poor shot there, Magic Johnson. We get really lucky that it went in. We get a stop, and luckily enough, the ball's passed into the corner. James Worthy who knocks it down. He's got like a 96 shot three with that duo, which is crazy. One of the better shooters in the game. He goes straight to Helmwood and Alan one though. 
to make it a four point game again. But um, luckily enough, we ball out the six and they miss a put back. He spammed triangle an awful lot on rebounds. And then in the end, we have a chance here to put a little bit of distance between two teams. We get it to Worthy and Worthy gets the dunk, which is big. Clay Thompson with a step back three, basically ending the game there, making it 88 77, 145 to go. We did our best job of choking it away. They brought it back to five points, but we then go and hit a three with Clay to bring it back to 11 with uh, 40 seconds to go. But this guy wanted to press us. Like, no matter how long was left in the game, I was trying to dribble it out, and this guy wanted to press. So I said, screw it, I'm going to go and attack the basket and try to score 100 points. In the end, like, with eight seconds to go on 99, he goes straight down and scores. And I was like, okay, I'll dribble out the clock. But nope, he goes and full court presses me. So we need to get the ball to Michael Jordan, who gives us straight to Kareem Abdul-Jabbar to give us the win with 101 points. For game two, however, we actually picked up a Joel Embiid to make Ben Simmons just a god. But we are playing against a guy called King LeBron 23. He had Vince Carter and he also had um, the uh, Christoph Porzingis. Apparently, he's one of the top Supermax players in the world. And he's one of the most consistent top Supermax players. Like, he will get the reward at every single tier, which is absolutely crazy. Because, as you guys know, them rewards are so, so difficult to get. We start this game running a lot through guys like Simmons and MJ, and they are the guys that like I really tried to run through early in the game, Simmons especially. And uh, in the end, I don't really think it worked out great for us. Like we were tired at the start of the game, and I felt like at the start of the game we could have really done a lot better. Joel Embiid, what I thought was a ridiculous shot, he hit. So um, you can hear I said it in the stream, and I was like I didn't deserve to hit that shot. And they come right down and miss a shot with Vince Carter. They do get the offensive board with a. Uh, Carl Anthony Towns, and I can't complain, he puts it back. We did hit a ridiculous shot with Joel Embiid, the previous offense. And yeah, we got a one point lead going into the second quarter. Second quarter, we start off so well. Starting off with a 360 dunk from Cat, who shouldn't actually be on the floor because I prefer Kareem and put Kareem on right there. But um, we actually start off really, really well here. Carl Anthony Towns hitting a three. I probably shouldn't have taken Cat off after all. Six point lead. And then a great steal from Kevin Durant. We pointlessly try to slow the game down here thinking maybe we can go and push on a little bit but what I should have done was kept playing fast because that's what was working for me this guy ran play after play after play we defended him well but if we made him play fast we had a really big advantage and unfortunately um, we tried to change our game style and it just didn't work even though we did get down one here with Clay push the lead at the seven it was back to two in no time and then we did actually have a great finish in the quarter. Great dunk there by um, James Worthy, but they go and hit a crazy three on us there with Carmelo Anthony. The second quarter, however, was the last time we could say we were truly in control of this game. Suddenly, it's a one-point game a minute into the third quarter, and from here on out, absolutely nothing goes our way. Like, nothing goes our way. First of all, we try to take a shot fake. We don't even try to take a shot with Durant, and he ends up taking the shot. And then all of a sudden, this, in what was the most ridiculous play of the game, in my opinion, we fell Porzingis. The ball hits the lower side of the ring and somehow drops in. Just physics 2K. And then the next play, we can test the three with Porzingis. It bounces around the ring, and good. Then all of a sudden, they go and strip us. They get a dunk with T-Mac, and I'm gone. I was seriously about to rage quit at that stage. And uh, the only reason I played was because we had something like 190 people in stream. Even though we did make a lot of attempts at fighting back, a bad three there missed by Karolenko could have made it a two-point game, and you never know, that could have changed the game. Um, but in the end, we played some great defense. As you can see in this play, we stop every single option from the play. We make him take a really difficult shot on four of us. And of course, he goes against the offensive rebound. This was a stage in the game where I really felt I was being screwed by the offensive rebounds because I felt like I played really, really good defense. Kevin Durant goes and misses a three. And then, of course, another big offensive rebound there. We had a chance to make it a three or a two point game with 120 to, or around 120 to go. Kevin Durant goes and makes a seven there at 117 to go. So you might think, okay, this game's over. But. Fair play, like, I'm happy with the way I fought back in this game. We made some really good plays down the stretch. But, uh, yeah, this play, we took a little bit too much time off the clock, and I think that might have affected us big time at the end. But a great spin there by Simmons, giving it to Embiid, who unfortunately stepped inside the three-point line, which, again, would, would turn out to be killer. 
Late in the game, we go and get a dunk from MJ to make it a one possession game. Obviously, there's enough, there's so little time left that he just thinks, okay, you get the last second shot up, it's game over. And it would have been had the shot go, went in, but they go and fell. So, 0.9 seconds to go, we have a chance at a tie. And we try, obviously, to shoot with MJ, and we don't even get the ball inbound. At 0.3 of a second, we're done. There is no chance in us getting that shot in. So anyway, that's the video. I'm sorry about my poor um, post-commentary skills. But that was the tournament. The tournament was won by Pervy on Twitch. I will leave a link to his Twitch in the description. I also will leave a link to the My Team Ranker Twitter, who will be running tournaments throughout 2K19. So anyway, that's the video. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.